Hello, I'm Trisha Nolfi and I'm a facilitator for Lumen Circles. Today what I want to do is to help you understand how to navigate the dashboard in the Circle platform. So as you see in front of you, here's what you see when you log into the platform. On the left hand side of your screen, you will see the navigation for your Circle activities. You'll have the name of the circle that you're in and then these different options that you can go to. When you go to current activity, it's going to take you to the current week that you're in, in your circle. It'll give you an overview of what you're doing that week, and then the action items that you may have for that week. When you look at the current week, you will see a feed of any announcements or activity that's going on, and then reflections of your colleagues um, that you have to review. If you go to the All Activities link here on the left, that will give you a nice overview of everything that you have to do in your circle. And as you see at the top of the page, it first goes over the three main areas that we focus on in our fellowships, the Explore and Connect activities, your teaching reflections to improve professional practice, and then your meta reflections. As you scroll down on this page, you will see a calendar of activities. And this is nice because it gives you an overview of each week that you're gonna be participating, when that week is gonna start, if a reflection is due, it'll give you the date when that's due. And then if you're to collaborate with a colleague, you'll have a date when that's due as well. Going back up to that left-hand navigation, you'll see the engagement policy. The engagement policy you would have agreed to as you participated in the circle, but it's a nice reminder to visit because it gives you an idea of what's expected for you in terms of each week's also gives you an idea of if you cannot go ahead and participate for that current week, what you need to do in terms of requesting a break. The other thing that you'll see are the discussions. So the discussions are an important part of your fellowship. When you select this discussions, you can actually start a discussion with your colleagues. Um, if there's any discussions that are currently in place, you'll see an overview of them here. What you'll also see on the left-hand menu is a list of the circle mates that you actually have. When you see this icon of the purple badge, that is your facilitator for that circle. And then here you'll see your circle mates listed as well. And certainly if you go ahead and select each one of them, you'll get the information about that fellow. So that's the overview of your platform that when you come into the circle and to review your activities for the current week.